Good morning from Ohio. This is uh, Hubbard, Ohio, right next to the Pennsylvania state line and at the Flying J that we stopped at late yesterday afternoon. Still here mid-morning, getting ready to head over to uh, make the delivery. Um, I'm actually ready to go, but I'm waiting. There's a uh, there's a flatbedder getting fuel. Maybe he's just finishing. I want to see if I can catch him pulling forward. He's got something pretty interesting. All right, you can see him. It's the it's the uh, fourth guy from the right. Fourth, yeah, fourth truck from the right with the flashing yellow lights. There he is. He's pulling out. I have seen a lot of things on flatbedders in my time out here over the road. I've seen military equipment, heavy lift, uh, you know, heavy construction equipment, but I'm pretty sure. This is the first time I've seen a locomotive on a flatbed. I don't know what he's waiting for. There he goes. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, he's not gonna stop, doggone it. And he's not even coming this way. cable plugged in so it's having trouble moving the camera. That's cool. Yeah, I've been charging the phone. So I had the cable plugged in so I was having trouble <laughs> moving it around. Anyway, Kitty's ready to go, aren't you Kitty? Yeah, he's like, you ain't giving me no treats yet, so I ain't talking to you. So anyway, yeah. It is time to get going. I've got coffee, pre-trip is done. Let the engine warm up for a minute, and then we are out of here. So we'll uh, see you out on the road. And we're off. assignment. Wow, I'm glad I got here when I did because two other trucks pulled in right after me. So I'm going to be first to, to this open door. So right here on the right. So I'm going to have to pull across this street to straighten out and back up. Shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. Guess I'll wait on this truck coming through. Then go.
after making a delivery, uh, delivering that beer that I had brought down from, uh, where did we come from? New Hampshire. Beer from New Hampshire. Finished that delivery, it came over to the Petro here in Girard, Ohio, and uh, met up with a friend of mine, someone I used to work with many years ago in Minnesota. Uh, she lives here in Ohio with her family. And uh, this is the second time, in a, only the second time in the last six years we've been able to, or I've been able to pull this off. She's usually available, but it's always, with my driving schedule, it's tough. Anyway, um, got together for lunch. Well, I had lunch, she had dessert. Um, and uh, caught up on a bunch of stuff, which was nice. Um, it's always nice to visit old friends. Anyway, um, <laughs> she brought me cookies. Gotta love cookies. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll be munching on, on those for the next day or two. Uh, so time to head out. I was hoping to stay in town here until tomorrow morning, but while I was getting unloaded, I, I booked a new a new load, and it's up north. In fact, my friend Patty, she actually corrected me on the name of the place, and let me see if I can get it right. Conneaut, it's up on the lake, right on the Pennsylvania state line, uh, right on Lake Erie. So it's about uh, 65 miles from here. The appointment is for 10 a.m. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive up there park at a truck stop or somewhere up there and uh, shut down and uh, then I've only got three or four miles to drive for the pickup in the morning so I don't, I don't want to be trying to drive all the way up there tomorrow morning for a 10 a.m. appointment so anyway that's what's up so we're leaving here and on our way up to Kanye thanks again Patty I had a great visit
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to click the like button. Not only does this let me know that you liked it, but it tells YouTube that they should promote it to others. This really helps me out. If you enjoy watching my over the road trucking adventure videos, please subscribe and then click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are available.